Hey, it's Dr. Ergen here, your sugar MD. If you think diabetes is dangerous, you're right. But what if I told you that many diabetics don't actually die from diabetes itself? Not from sugar crashes, not from kidney failure, not even from heart attacks sometimes. The real killer is actually cancer. That's right. Most diabetics are walking around worried about carbs and insulin, but there is something much more dangerous happening under the surface and no one is talking about it. Today, I'm going to explain exactly why diabetics have a much higher risk of cancer and what you can do about it and how controlling your blood sugar is about a lot more than just lowering your A1C. So let's get into it. So when people hear the word diabetes, they think about glucose levels, amputations, and insulin shots. But cancer, that's not usually in the conversation. And it should be. According to research from the Journal of American Medical Association, diabetics have a 20 to 30 percent higher risk of developing cancer compared to non-diabetics. Some studies even suggest that diabetics are twice as likely to die from certain cancers like liver, pancreas, endometrial, and colon cancers. Let me tell you this. Diabetics are more likely to die from cancer than from diabetes itself. Still think diabetes is just a sugar problem? Think again. So why are diabetics more vulnerable to cancer? It comes down to three big things. Number one, high insulin. Insulin is a growth hormone, right? It fuels the cancer. When it's high all the time, it tells your body to store fat and grow tissue. But guess what else it helps grow? The cancer cells. Cancer thrives in environments with high insulin, high blood sugar, and chronic inflammation. And that's exactly what type 2 diabetes creates in your body. Number two, chronic inflammation. Diabetes causes a constant low-grade fire, which is inflammation in your body. Inflamed tissue is damaged tissue. And damaged cells are more likely to become cancerous over time because cancer actually develops when your body is trying to replicate, trying to renew the cells. Now, obesity is another one, right? The third factor and visceral fat. Now, many diabetics carry excess belly fat. This isn't just about looks. This is metabolic dynamite. Visceral fat around your organs creates hormones and toxins that make the body insulin resistant, inflamed, and primed for tumor growth. And here's the perfect storm for you. High blood sugar feeds your cancer if you already have cancer. High insulin helps it grow to begin with, and chronic inflammation breaks down your defenses because you know every one of us actually creating cancer cells daily but our immune system is containing it so the worse your immune system the higher the chance of developing cancer that's why diabetes and cancer go hand in hand if you're not careful you might win the blood sugar battle but actually lose the war to cancer for example if you're using only insulin and still eating inflammatory diet that's not going to be very helpful, although your sugars are better. This isn't fear-mongering. This is what we see in real patients every day. But here's the hope. This is preventable. You can dramatically reduce your cancer risk by doing one thing. Fix your insulin resistance. When you improve your insulin sensitivity, your blood sugar stabilizes, inflammation calms down, and cancer risk plummets. This isn't just about living longer with diabetes. This is about living, period. So what I see in my clinic, let me tell you about a patient, let's call him David. He had type 2 diabetes for 10 years, blood sugar always a little high, belly fat creeping in, and on metformin and sulfonylurea, he didn't want to use any other medication. He wasn't worried, he was one of those guys like, okay, whatever, just give me any medicine, I'll be okay, you know, I'm, I'm good, I'm invincible, whatever, right? Well, numbers looked okay, so obviously when somebody doesn't need a lot of help, I cannot offer a lot of help because they don't want to hear. Then he came in with fatigue and some odd abdominal pain. Long story short, it was pancreatic cancer, and we caught it too late. He passed within a year. That hit me hard because we were so focused on his A1C, but we missed the deeper risk. Since then, I have made it a mission to educate patients on the connection between metabolic health and cancer. Here are five warning signs diabetics should not ignore. If you have unexplained weight loss, especially if you're not trying, get checked for cancer. If you have persistent fatigue, could be blood sugar, but could also be cancer. Three, 
abdominal discomfort or bloating. Don't write this off as just gas. Four, blood in stool or urine. Always investigate. Number five, new lumps or skin changes. Check your body. Know what's normal. Listen to your body. Look at your body. It whispers before it screams. So what can you do right now? Number one, get your insulin down. You don't have to wait for your A1C to climb. If your insulin is high, which is already high even before diabetes, your risk is already high. So today, cut back on carbs, eliminate sugar, move daily, move more, prioritize protein and healthy fats. Number two, use smart supplements. In my clinic, we have started using a combination of SugarMD Glucion and SugarMD Super Berberine. These two help stabilize blood sugar, improve insulin sensitivity, reduce the inflammation, and together they create a metabolic environment where cancer has a much harder time growing. Glucion works during the day, helping to reduce post-meal spikes. Super Berberine works more in the background, helping your cells become more insulin sensitive. I have seen patients drop 50 points of their blood sugar in just a couple hours, but more importantly, they're reducing their long-term damage. And number three, screen early and often. If you're diabetic, you should be screened earlier for colon, liver, and pancreatic cancers. Push for those tests. Don't wait until symptoms show up. It may be too late. And this isn't about fear. It's about power. You're not powerless. Your blood sugar is not a ticking time bomb if you take control now. And you don't need to wait for a diagnosis to take action. Every meal is a choice. Every walk matters. Every supplement can help your body work better. And that might be the difference between thriving or not making it. I'm not saying this to scare you. I'm saying this because I have seen too many good people find out too late. You deserve better. Now, let's wrap this up. Most diabetics aren't warned about cancer. But now you know, high insulin, high blood sugar, chronic inflammation, these aren't just diabetes problems. They are cancer risk factors. So fixing your blood sugar is about more than a one reduction. It is about saving your life and giving you quality of life. So here is what I want you to do. Take your sugar seriously, not just to prevent diabetes complications, but to reduce cancer risk. Consider adding your sugar MD, Glucion, and Super Berberine to your daily protocol because these are powerful tools. And move your body one way or the other. Eat real food, track your progress, and get screened and know your labs. Ask better questions. Your body wants to heal. Give it a chance. I'm Dr. Ergen, and I'm here to help you to do just that. Let's live smarter, not just longer. Now share this video with someone who needs to hear it and take care of yourself. You've got one life, so make it count. Thank you for watching today.